It's time to let you in on a little secret. Actually, lots of secrets. We're talking strategy and most importantly, return on your investment for your podcast. Welcome to Branded Podcast Secrets. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Branded Podcast Secrets. I'm your host, Erin Greger, here for another episode, all talking about breaking down your branded podcast, hence the name. I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyway, uh, I have another special guest today. I have Jennifer Dent Brown. So Jennifer is a life and weight loss coach over at Lux Life Coaching. And she has a podcast, not to be surprised that she's here, but it's called Stop Dieting Forever uh, with Jennifer Dent Brown. Jennifer, thank you so much. I'm so happy we got to make this work. Yeah. Hey, Erin. Thanks for having me on the show. I am happy to be here. Yeah. I have so much to talk to you about. Not just, I, I, I think we need to go into a whole episode about how to stop dieting forever. Cause I went on oh, your yeah. website, you talked about the five <laughs> to 20 up and down, up and down life story, but we don't need to go there. Cause, uh, uh, we want to talk about your podcast, but, uh, I'd love to, to first talk about exactly, let's talk a little bit about what you do and then we'll jump into why the podcast. Yeah. So uh, like you said, I'm a life and weight loss coach and I help women who are tired of dieting. Women who have gained the weight, lost the weight, found it again, trying to lose it again. Um, I teach them how to stop dieting forever simply by first working on changing their beliefs, changing their habits and changing their mindset. I love it. And You've been a coach, did I hear, since like 2014? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a journey. Yeah. yeah you're not uh, definitely a fly by night for sure. So you're 70 episodes into a podcast. So you haven't been podcasting this whole time. So can you talk about you're creating content? You know, you need to create maybe more content. Where, where in your entrepreneur journey were you like, you know what? I need to, I think the podcast is what needs to be created. Well, I love podcasts. I've been listening to podcasts for years, um, always a student of personal development and learning. So I like the podcast platform. I like the audio platform. And actually, I had a group. I had a group uh, program a couple of years ago. It's probably like 2017. And I used to do this thing called Master Your Morning where we would all get on the conference call line together at, at 6 a.m. And I would teach something for like 15 or 20 minutes and then I would let them go. So that was kind of like my, it wasn't an official podcast, but I would record it and the episodes were available for the, the internal group because I wanted to do a podcast in like the back of my mind, but I just wasn't like brave enough at that point to say, okay, I officially am a podcaster. So I would do these calls and they loved them. And I did that for over a year. I did, I did 111 calls Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. live. And I'm like, I look back at that time. I'm like, I can't believe I did That's that. That's impressive. <laughs> But I had all of these really great topics, all of these really great potential episodes. So my VA at the time had turned into a podcast manager. And so I was like, what do you think about like putting these out as like a podcast, but not really officially making it a podcast? And she's like, sure, we can just totally do that. So I was on SoundCloud first, which is yeah, you know, not really where people go to listen to podcasts. If you're into music and original music, then you listen to SoundCloud. But it was a place where people could go and potentially find me. Mm -hmm. um, and so then in 2019, yes, I think, yeah, 20, no, I'm sorry, 2020, <laughs> last year, <laughs> I got into... I had been coaching. I'd been working on my business. I became a full-time coach. I no longer had my part, my corporate job anymore. And so I was ready to put my message out into the world and become an official podcaster. So we actually put those original Master Your Morning calls up on like Apple and Stitcher and some other places um, and just created that as like season one. And then I started new recordings with season two. However, as I was honing my message with, in, with the episodes from last year, 
the season one just it just didn't match who I was anymore. The messaging didn't match anymore. So we took down the season one Master Your Morning episodes, and then um, so that's where I am now. So I started with episode one of the current Stop Dieting Forever podcast from last year. All right. So I want to address the season because I think that's really interesting. Because all right. So let me ask first. What made you want to do the season? And then your current podcast isn't season now, is it? Is that? No. Okay. So let's talk about that. So I'd love to go into like why you chose the season in the first place. Cause a lot of people, this is one of the top questions. Do I season? Do I go? So tell me about the season and the reasoning behind that. And then the plan B. Well, it was actually my podcast manager's suggestion. So she's like, we can put all these old episodes out because they were referring to, it said master your morning. It had like different music in the beginning, but the message was very good and people were finding it helpful. So we just batched all those together and called it season one. And then at the beginning of season two, it was like the introduction of the stop dieting forever podcast. It was an explanation of what those other calls were and just, you know, what you can expect from here on out. So it wasn't any, you know, big decision of like, do we call this a season? Or, and it was just like, oh, we'll just group all these together and call it season one. Okay. I like it. So you, I, I would love to know to, you know, you're like, I don't, I couldn't call myself a podcast or I didn't want to like, how has it changed now? Cause you're a natural and obviously you were doing these calls now. And for that person listening, like, you know, the, who am I talk to do this? What are your feelings on it now? Because like I said, you, it's, you're 70 episodes in just on that one. It doesn't even count all the other episodes you've done. How do you feel about that now? Just would love to get your insight. I struggle. I mean, Aaron, honestly, really, I struggle to get those episodes out. So in 2020, when this came out, my podcast came out in the beginning of June, I was planning for like this big launch, I had already recorded the first four episodes. And I was very excited because at that point in my business, I was like, okay, I'm a full time coach, I'm going all in like, this is the thing like this is it I am living my dream as a full time entrepreneur. And I, at that point, I got my messaging down tight. Like I knew exactly who I was speaking to. I know my people. I know what they're struggling with. I know how to address them. And I was very passionate about what I do as a coach. So June 4th was kind of like, and the United States of America was around that time where civil unrest was happening. Cope, the pandemic was happening. Like it was just a shit show. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was. Yeah. And it was difficult for a lot of us because I'm African-American. I'm a black woman. And all of a sudden, it was like, I have to promote a weight loss podcast. Like, it just um, didn't seem to balance for me. Yeah. So I had to really, really like take some time to dig deep and remember what I'm doing is important. And what I'm doing is part of uplifting the community and healing the community and the longer that I keep silent, my person, my ideal client, she is still suffering. And for a lot of people, weight may not seem like a huge deal, but for a lot of people, weight is a huge deal. And especially during the pandemic, like it was... Especially during the pandemic. It was a and mind stressful mess. stressful times and just, you know, everything that was happening at that time. So I had to like get myself together, do my own coaching and really remember why. And one of the things that my coach actually told me to do, she was like, go back and listen to the episodes that you recorded a couple weeks ago, where I was like, all passionate and excited and like, yes, this is it. And that's I went back and listened. I was like, Oh, this is good. I was like, this is really good. Like, who am I to not put this out in the world? So I did. Oh, that's fantastic. See, I didn't even think of it, you know, like you said, it feels insensitive, but it's not at all. And um, I, I, I'm amazed that you're still, you still think about it. You know what I mean? Like it's a second guess. So can you talk about what it's done for your business though? Like obviously that authentic, authentic, authenticity is huge. You know, people hearing that passion and that, but you, you know, you've done this many episodes, obviously something is working. Can you talk about what it has done for your business? 
Well, it tells people exactly how they can lose weight without dieting, which, you know, I go against the norm of what people believe they need to do um, to lose weight. So it is the first part of my funnel. People come to me to through my programs to my coaching because of the podcast. And so that is my biggest my biggest platform. Um, and it's just so fascinating now. Now I'm like getting random emails from people like, oh, I listened to episode that it and they have like thoughts and comments about it. I'm like, oh, that's kind of neat. Um, it's not just like people that I know. <laughs> These are like people who all over the world who are listening to my podcast, which is just, you know, sometimes it's still like unbelievable because I <laughs> sit in my closet. I record my podcast in the closet. I'm like sitting in the closet on a stool with my mic <laughs> recording my podcast amongst the clothes. Like it's just amazing that this platform can reach so many people and my message can be so impactful in like 15 or 20 minute episode. Yeah. No, it is amazing. Yeah. Cause you're, you know, like you're saying, it's not that you're putting out hours and hours of content every week. It, but it does have impact and it does give that ability to, uh, you know, get people to know you at a level that they would never get through writing. I mean, they just won't, they'll get something through writing, but it'll just never be that same. So do you have any measurements? Like, do you have any specific, uh, calls to action in your podcast that you can tell? outside of an email or whatever, but that they came from the podcast? Um, No, actually, no, I don't have any specific measurements to know where people come from. But when they join my, I have a 30 day boot camp. I ask them, how do they find out about the boot camp? Lots of times it's through the podcast. When people book for consults with me for private coaching, I'm always like, so tell me, how'd you find me? <laughs> and it's always like, I think I your podcast or like somebody sent me your podcast and I started listening to one episode and I started listening to all of them and I'm like wow because that was me right when I'm listening to other people's podcasts and I find something that I really resonate with you like you listen to one and then you just binge on all the episodes so yeah they found the podcast so I and I love that they're um that was me too. And I had a friend tell me this story, like she and I and you're going to be this in the same boat where it was, I am learning so much like and your podcast would be this where it's like, you are changing my life for free, essentially. Mm -hmm. So what is going to happen when I actually pay you, you know what I mean, or get involved in a program or get involved. And it's that like, I, I, she was telling me it was like, I think it was Amazon selling or something. She's like, I had to go with this guy's program because I had learned and and had made so much progress off his free information. I could only imagine what was going to happen when I actually paid something. And, you know, it's that it's that same, yeah. same boat. Um, how are you marketing it? Like, are you doing extensive marketing? Or is it just I'd love to hear some of your tips and tricks? Yeah, not extensively marketing yet. Looking into it, but no, just organically marketing. I've been on other people's podcasts. Thank you, Aaron. Yes. And so people find me that way. I had a, another very popular podcast in health and fitness, like put me on her Instagram and said, I love her. Go listen to her. Wow. Yeah, that was nice. Um, so org, and then people who opt in go to my website, get my free, five part series, video series and weight loss guide. Then they're on my list. And then every week I'm emailing my list like this is the, the latest podcast episode. But I do want to just touch on what you just mentioned mm -hmm. about the free content. And I've had some people come to me like you tell so much you give so much away. And I'm like, Yes, of course I do. Because I want people to lose weight. Like I want people to be able to listen to my podcast and understand that they don't have to restrict themselves and exercise crazy in order to lose weight. I don't care if they don't, if they ever pay me a dime, right? I, under, I understand the value that I'm putting out will be returned to me some way, somehow in the future. How it gets to me is not my, not my problem, not, not the thing I need to worry about, but I have all of this knowledge. It is my responsibility to share it with people. And that's why I love podcasting so much. 
I love it. It's a great philosophy. It's aligned with your values. You're going to make an impact and you will get paid for the passion. That's like you said, at some way or point. Um, I think it's so interesting though, that you're not doing diligent, you know, like huge marketing efforts on it and you're still seeing the results. And you know, this is like the perfect example of people think they need these massive numbers to see any, you know, for their business specifically. And many times, most of the time, it's really not that it's, you know, a, a great, if, if you can get leads from it, it's not about getting a million leads. Sometimes one or two leads can transform a business, right? Depending on mm-hmm. long-term value and stuff. And it, it's just such an important thing to, to understand. Um, what is next for you on the podcast? Like, or actually, let me step back before I ask that question. You do interviews and I would love to know how A, you're determining what guests come on and B, how you're utilizing those relationships beyond the podcast. Okay. So I have to tell you. <laughs> it sounds like a secret. I'm I love a it. i snobby. Okay. No, which you should be. My podcast, because I get, as I'm sure you do too, a million different like, hey, so-and-so has a book. Can you put them on your podcast? So-and-so is doing this. And I believe my podcast is the best place for me to sell my own products. So my guests are my clients. They're my salespeople. Perfect. They come on, they tell their stories. Um, I started like in the beginning when I first started doing client interviews, it was after they lost their first 10 pounds without dieting. And so they would come on and they would tell their story of what they were doing before and how my work has impacted them. And now my clients are like losing 20, 30, 50, 80 pounds. And so it's kind of like, I have to like, all right, we're going to do this interview. But by the time it airs, you'll probably have lost more weight. So my, the majority of my guests are my clients, my one-on-one clients and the people who have gone through my boot camp and have had great success. That is a perfect tactic because what stories sell and you're getting the exact stories from the people, like it's, it's perfect. And you're going to have, I'm assuming you hear about the relatableness, right? Like they hear that story of, and it's not just an expert, yada, 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 you know, like we hear, oh, I wrote a book about this because, and it, a lot of times those feel, those type of people feel, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I can't connect with them, right? Like, distance. Yeah. yes, distance, perfect word where mm-hmm. this is a perfect tactic. Uh, do you, are your guests usually like, ready to jump on or do you ever have to like coax them a little bit on on being on a podcast there there's only one person who i had to like coax to bring on and she's lost like 30 pounds and she did a phenomenal interview i was like seriously (laughs) but i think it's important for people to hear other people's experiences because i can talk about my experience all day long like you know, people get tired of hearing my, my weight drama, my story and how I have transformed my life. Sometimes they need to hear it from someone else or sometimes someone else can just explain it so much better or so much differently where somebody's like, Oh, I get it. And then I get other people. I get like newer clients are like, Oh, I heard your client so and so on the podcast and what she said about X, Y, and Z really, really like struck me. And that's why I'm contacting you now. So my clients are my best salespeople. Well, and a hundred percent. And, you know, for me, it's like, you know, it's just, I could hear your story and be like, well, you know, she doesn't have this or this was, Mm -hmm. you know, I have this. So therefore it's not going to be as easy for me. And you, the more people you have that are sharing their story, the more you can negate that because they probably have something going on that is going to resonate or match up or feel feel similar. So I think you kind of um you uh reduce your chances of that unrelatableness because you're going to find mm-hmm. someone you relate to and it's going to take all those excuses off the table for you. So I yeah. I think it's an actual like absolutely brilliant strategy. I love it. So what is next for you on the podcast? Like you're I mean you're I know it feels a little off, but it's not going to be that off before you hit a hundred episodes. And mm-hmm. do, is anything going to change? Or are you going to do, you know, is it going to, 
I mean, it's is it it's working, so don't broke or don't it's fix it working. if it ain't broke. Exactly. Yeah. Right now, it's working wonderfully. Um, and we played around with like how we deliver some of the podcast episodes. Like, I can tell you, one of them was like my favorite episode. I was like, if there were like an Emmy Award for podcast, <laughs> I was like, this would win. <laughs> But I interviewed, I did a phone conversation. I recorded a conversation with one of my clients and she was just, she was in the car driving with her kids in the background. Like, just, I was like, can I record this conversation? And she's like, sure. So she was just explaining how she went away um, for the weekend on vacation for the first time it was Memorial Day weekend and how she was in my boot camp and she applied what I teach and she went away and she enjoyed herself. She ate what she wanted to eat and she came back and she didn't gain weight. And that was like mind boggling to her. So she was just telling me how much she appreciated and what she did. And so we took that recording of the, of the, of our conversation and we like cut it up. So it was like me giving the narrative and then we would cut over and like, she would explain and I'm like, okay, now she's done this. Now listen to how she handles when her host keeps offering her to eat this food, listen to how she handles it. And then we would play that cut. And I was like, this is the best episode ever. <laughs> I love that though. And it's simple though. It was a phone conversation, but you just kind of yeah. did a little twisting of it and it came out into a perfect episode. Yeah, we're just playing around with it. Like now I'm doing my own commercials, just, you know, being creative and not feeling like I get to create the rules. It's my business. I can do what I want. So not feeling like I have to like be in a box and do this. And I think that's one of the best things about podcasting is there are no rules. Like you can, you got to have an intro, you got to have this, you got to do this. It's really about what you want. And I, and I love that. So if someone wanted to hear your, your podcast or learn more about you, where is the best place for them to go? They can search for Stop Dieting Forever. That's the podcast. Or you can go directly to my website, jenniferdent.com. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-D-E-N-T.com. And then you can also link to all of the platforms that my podcast is on from my website. Perfect. And of course, that all of that will be on our notes page over at AaronGregor.com. Jennifer, thank you so much. I, there are so many great tidbits in this about how you built it and grew it. And I know it's going to help uh, you know, at least one person, but hopefully more. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I love it. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today.